In the last video, we tried to draw a two propyl propyl heptane. And we did our best attempt at drawing it, but it was pointed out that this wouldn't even be called two propyl heptane to begin with. So you actually should never see something called two propyl heptane. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So when you see something like this, you might immediately say, and what, the way we drew it was actually correct. It just wouldn't be called two propyl heptane. So you say heptane. So that is a seven carbon alkane, no double bond. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. And then on the second carbon, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have a propyl group. Propyl, that is three carbons. So on the second carbon, we have a propyl group. That's three carbons. So that is one, two, three. And so the way we drew it was just like this. And so if someone gave you two propyl heptane. This would be what you would draw. But you wouldn't call this 2-propyl heptane. Because remember, if you're given the molecule, you look for the longest chain. And the longest chain here is not the heptane chain. It is not 1, 2, 3. It is not this thing in, in, in this kind of mauve color. It's this chain where you start over here. If you start over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you actually get a longer chain. So this would actually be the backbone of this molecule right over there. That right over there would be the backbone. And so you would number it. And you start numbering closest to the group that's attached. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you have nine carbons in your backbone. So we're dealing with nonane. We're dealing with nonane. And you have a methyl group, one carbon attached to the fourth carbon of our main backbone. So this is going to be 4, 4, methyl, 4, methyl. This is our methyl group right here. 4, methyl, 4, methyl, nonane. So it was brought up. I, I think the, the username is uh, Minoc2, and they correctly corrected me that there would never be such a thing as 2-propyl heptane. I just made that up. If someone were to, were to kind of label this molecule, they would call it 4-methylnonane and ask you to draw it. But either way, both of these would point you to the right direction. This would just be the incorrect name for it, because you'd be looking at, if someone gave you this molecule and you named it this way, that would be incorrect. So I apologize for this. This is 4-methylnonane. If you do heptane, you're not finding the longest chain.